Saint Vincent Ferrer, Dominican, 1419, Vins Brittany. Saint Vincent was born of respectable parents, at Valencia in Spain, upon the 23 day of January, in the year of our Lord 1357. Even as a child he had an heart like the heart of an old man. Considering, to the utmost of his young understanding, how fleeting is the course of this dark world, he, in the eighteenth year of his age, took the habit of a friar in the order of preachers. After he had made his solemn profession, he devoted himself to sacred learning, and took the degree of master in divinity with much distinction. He soon after received permission from his superiors to preach the word of God, on which duty he entered with such power and success, striving against the unbelief of the Jews, and overthrowing the errors of the Saracens, that he brought an exceeding great multitude of unbelievers to believe in Christ, and turned many thousands of Christians from sin to sorrow, and from vice to virtue. He was a chosen vessel unto God to proclaim the tidings of salvation among all nations, and tribes, and tongues, crying out that the last day, that awful day of judgment, is at hand, smiting consternation into the minds of all, as many as heard him, weaning their love from a perishing world, and turning it to God. While Vincent wrought the apostolic work of preaching committed to him, he lived ever as follows, every morning he sang a solemn mass, and every day he preached in public. He fasted every day, unless prevented by some absolute necessity. He refused to no one his holy and just advice. He never ate meat, nor wore linen. He quieted public disturbances, and negotiated the peace of kingdoms. When the seamless garment of the church was rent by an horrid schism, he worked his every nerve to unite it again, and keep it one. He was a burning and a shining light of all virtues, walking always in lowliness and simpleness, so that he meekly welcomed and embraced them which spake evil against him and persecuted him. The power of God confirmed his life and doctrine with many great signs and wonders. He often laid his hands upon the sick and they recovered. He cast out unclean spirits, and made the deaf to hear, the dumb to speak, and the blind to see. He cleansed the lepers, and raised the dead. After passing through many countries of Europe with exceeding profit to souls, worn out with age and disease, but still ever the same unwearied herald of the gospel, he brought his life and his preaching together to an happy end, at Vins in Brittany, upon the five day of April in the year of salvation 1419. Pope Callistus III numbered him with the saints. O Remus! O God, who waste pleased to enlighten thy church through the worthy deeds and gospel preaching of thy blessed confessor Vincent, grant unto us thy servant's grace so to order our lives after his ensample, that we, being whole penned by his protection, may by thee be ever delivered from all evil. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.